Okay, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for some Sultai Sanity. So this is basically Sultai midrange with Thief of Sanity in the main deck. So the target of this deck is to beat all of the very spell heavy decks in the format. There's a lot of Wilderness Reclamation and a lot of control decks. And those are the decks that we're targeting here with this Sultai Sanity build. Um, you can see even in our sideboard, I have plenty of plenty of anti-control stuff, duress, negates. We even have Frilled Mystic for some more counter spell cards. We have Crushing Canopies to a bunch of those also destroy the Wilderness Reclamations at instant speed. Like those are the matchups that we're targeting here with this Sultai deck. Now, which means we are going to be weaker to aggro decks, but I don't think we're like necessarily dead in those kind of matchups. Like we we still have a pretty strong shell uh, with the Sultai shell against aggro decks. You know, like Wild Growth Walker can just go crazy, right? And we have three find finalities, and you know, finality is usually just good against all the aggro decks if we can survive till six mana. Hostage Shaker helps us do that. We have Krasis that can gain life and draw cards also. Like I th I think. I think that the Sultai deck has some good stuff against aggro, even even though like the matchups may not be perfect and we're not really helping them out too much in our sideboard. But uh, with like the most popular aggro deck these days being like mono red, like Duress and Negate are still good against mono red, for example. So basically, there are just lots of lots of the uh, control decks, lots of reclamation decks around, and that's what we're trying to beat as far as mirror matches go hostage shaker and find finality are really important in the mirror so we got three of each um those are really important and then thief of sandy is just a good card in the mirror like if we were both at a ton of life because of wild growth walkers and we have and like the the ground is gummed up with wild growth walkers and explore creatures thief of sandy can fly over and be really annoying for opponents so that's what we got going on here um Sultai is the kind of deck that I've said it the whole the whole format. Sultai is the best deck in the format. I've thought that the entire time. Still think that there are a lot of different things you can do with Sultai. Is this seventy five the best in the format? No, probably not. Especially my my sideboard is just probably too narrow. But overall, you can basically make Sultai decks to beat anything, and that's why I think I guess that's what I'm saying. Overall, I think it's still the best deck because. Right now, like, Esper Control is, is built to beat Sultai, right? But then Sultai is trying to play, like, the mid-range game where they're trying to have good game against, like, the aggro and the control and all these other things. But if you wanted to make a, a Sultai deck that's strictly built on beating Esper Control, which would be, I guess, pretty close to this, you could. And so on. You can choose different things. Like, Sultai can be tailored to, to beat anything, whatever your expected metagame is. But... Um... Yeah, so as far as this deck, uh, weakness, another weakness in this deck is opposing Planeswalkers. I just have the one Contempt, so that's it. So, you know, like, we're trying to start off ahead early with all the Explore Creatures and Thieves and and not try to get behind uh, Planeswalkers. We're going to be doing a lot of attacking them. All right, so that's that's our deck, Sultai Sanity. Let's see if we change our avatar. What do we want to use for Sultai? We want to use Draska. I need the Golgari now. Step aside or be crushed. I don't know. I don't I like this, this Rakdos avatar. More. We did pretty good with this one yesterday. So we are one win away. Yesterday we started off with gold four uh, when we were doing our ranked matches at the very end. And so, like, the very end part of gold four with, you know, no wins. And now we are just one win away from getting out of gold today. So hopefully we get this first one. Actually... Played a few rounds with Esper taking turns earlier today. Had some fun with that. Went four and one with the deck. Deck's pretty good, but people don't really like watching the Esper taking turns because it's just it's basically Esper control with all eight extra turn spells, four Karn Temporal Sunderings, and four Nexus of Fates. <laughs> so people don't really like Esper control, and people don't like. Um, Nexus of Fate and taking all the turns and put them together and I found out that people don't really like that deck. <laughs> so I'm playing some other ones here. Um, 
right right now, like on on stream and everything. But yay! What's up, 1960 pal? All right, so I'm going to. So in case we wait, we don't have any drowned catacombs in our deck, do we? Actually, I was going to make a play in case we drew a drowned catacomb, but oh, we have one, a singular one. Nah, eh, oh well. I'm still going to go ahead and do this because even watery grave here. You know, we base we're looking for black mana, but even watery grave against mountain, if they're going to be like pretty aggressive, we may need to. There we go. Uh, I was gonna say we may need to not put it in, not be able to shock it in. Don't kill the thief! Don't kill the thief! No! All right, thief gone. Yeah, and Rami, that's um, says I feel like constructed ranks is less interesting compared to constructed event or limited. It feels like the stakes are higher when there's gold gems on the line. That's what. That's kind of like conventional wisdom would say, and and um, you know, like it would that would kind of make sense, like when you have your gold on the line, that that it would, but. Honestly, with Arena, that's that's not really the case. The competition in the ranked matches is quite a bit higher. Over the last month, we've just been facing a lot of like beginner decks in the constructed event, and because of that, I've gotten you know uh, been getting feedback of wanting to see. Us playing ranked matches. Double Phoenix is kind of rough. So, what if I finality? This has got to make it pretty hard for my opponent to play three spells in a turn when they're only sitting at three lands without having the Goblin Electromancer. Give me another turn, please. Okay, I like getting that Ral out of there. That's good. Oh, give me another turn. No, 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 no. Ugh. We did not get another turn. <clears throat> Wanted one more turn taking out the Vivians before they found the Arc Lights. You know, get Vivian out of out of range. Not dead yet. And I like, so we could have Krasis for four, but I kind of like waiting on Krasis anyway, because so the Krasis doesn't die to a Lava Coil. Wow. Every Phoenix in their deck. They got all four of them. Hmm. 
If I just attack out, are they going to double block a wild growth walker? Yeah, we're almost there for the Harry's 12 hour stream. Yeah, we were only two uh, people getting that razor away. Yeah, I think we have to Jade Light too. Oh, are we only one person away? Did you just sign up? It doesn't show that anybody signed up over here. Oh, yeah. No, now it does. Yeah, it does. I refresh and it does sign up. Why? Did, I don't know why the notification didn't pop up. Or did it pop up? And I just missed it? Did we have a notification pop up and I and I just didn't see it? Okay. Yeah, I guess I just missed that. That's awesome. All right. Sorry, I'm sorry I missed it. Oh yeah, there's yeah, Clockwork John. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Clockwork John. Man, I feel I feel bad that I missed that. Um And that brings all those phoenixes back, and they have the crackling drakes there. All right, too many phoenixes. So, to be honest, I I don't like our matchup here. Um, I think against regular drakes, we could do pretty good. We have harpooners, crushing canopies, and like these things. Like I think we'd be just fine against regular drakes. But phoenix that keeps coming back, I'm not exiling phoenixes really. Phoenix is going to be a different a different problem. As you saw there, that game. Uh, we killed like six phoenixes, and they just came back every single time. So, I think I do want duress negate in the phoenix kind of matchup. I think I want to try to take all their cards that dig and counter the cards that dig and all that kind of stuff. But if I play those, like, well, I'm not playing. I'm not playing Thief. Thief's just never going to deal damage. And even when it does, it's going to, like, give them Phoenixes or something. Or Yeah, Thief's just never going to get through. But I feel like I should have, like, Harpooners for Drakes. Or even Canopy. Like, <laughs> this is going to be tough winning this. Maybe I move away from Llanowar Elf? Hmm. Done. Hope it's submitted. Yeah, set review is this Friday. Because we should have the entire set uh, on Friday. We should know the entire set. But today is Wednesday, is that right? Today's Tuesday. Okay, so we have a couple more days for some more cards to come out. 
yeah, then we got the sub battle on Saturday. So yeah, it's gonna be a good weekend here. And we're probably gonna be doing the sub battle Saturday is most likely gonna be another 12 hour. Um, all we need is just one more person signing up for Harry's. And then next Thursday is when we will have War of the Spark on Arena. And man, is there so many good cards in War of the Spark. So many decks to build. So many cards to play. Oh man, it's going to be busy, busy time whenever War of the Spark comes out. Yeah, this is yeah, one of the best sets in years for sure. That was odd. Looks like something Looks like something must have came up. For our opponent there. You know, like maybe they got a call they had to go or something like that. Alright, yeah, we are now platinum. So yesterday we started at gold tier four, got through all of that. And now we are platinum. That's unfortunate, though. Didn't really get a, a good match there. You know, we just lost a game, and then it's like, well, I guess we won a match. You know. Hmm. Where are the lands at? Oh, that was a black mana source. I thought I already had a black mana source. I probably should have kept that. So we needed Platinum to get the Vraska's Contempt Cosmetic, so we got there. Alright, looks like we're playing Esper Control, which is... Kind of what we're wanting to play against. Um, now, of course, we are on a mulligan to five, so that'll change it. But, but especially sideboard, this is where we have a bunch of duresses, negates. Yeah, you know, like we have a whole lot in our sideboard here for this matchup. No, 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 do not do one. Oh gosh, that was really close. So basically if there's a counter spell there, I don't want my I don't want my find finality getting countered. My opponent knew about the crisis. Just throwing it throwing that out there. I you know what? I'm not done yet. No more games. Bleh. Hurry. That didn't go well for us. All right, so it looks like we are going to a game two.
but at least... And if we're going to a game two here, at least, um, you know, we were on a mold five. Put up a, a fight, but uh, we got a lot in our sideboard to help us out. Hero, thank you for the bits. Thank you, Hero. Don't make another move. This is hardly my worst defeat. All right, do they have another Teferi? Sorry, I'm late. All right, all these dresses, all these negates, frilled mystics as well. Getting rid of wild growth walker, cast down, and I think I want to get rid of one. Find finality, and actually, do I want to just get rid of land or elf? Oops, now. There we go. Get rid of one hostage taker, one land war elf. All right, that looks good. Hey, no worries, FY. So there's two. There's two cosmetics you get this month, comrade. One for getting gold, you get wizard's lightning cosmetic, and for getting to platinum, you get a. Brass is contempt cosmetic. Dole VH with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you very much. You are amazing. Awesome. Wonderful. So, Hostage Taker in this matchup does a couple of things. One, after sideboarding, Esper basically always has some kind of creature. They don't like it's it's very very rare for them to not have any kind of creature after sideboarding and the games go really long and uh, so in the the longer game uh you know you'll have usually have time to play a hostage taker and take something Also, uh, if that if that doesn't come up, using Hostage Taker to take your own creature um, is also um, is also a good strategy against Wrath effects against stuff like Kaya's Wrath. Or Brass's Contempt, stuff like that. Like for example, I'm just going to be hostage taking my Jade Light Ranger here. Does turn, you know, does mean that uh, we only have a 2 3 now instead of a 4 3. But our opponent has to kill the hostage taker. And whenever they do, we'll get a new Jade Light and we'll get the Explorer triggers and everything again. Because they can't just, like, sit back and just, you know, not kill the hostage taker. Otherwise, they'll die because, you know, they're at 12 and attack for 2 a bunch. So this is like the, the floor of Hostage Taker, basically, is doing something like this. Ideally, we would wait, they would have like some creature, we'd Hostage Take it, but we've already kind of seen our opponent's hand, seen that they don't really have anything to take, and we are just kind of sitting here with nothing else to do.
So I'm never going to actually cast this Jade Light Ranger ever again. Like, after you hostage take your own creature, you never cast it because, you know, you just open it up to a counter spell. But it's it's basically just going to sit here under this hostage taker. And whenever the hostage taker dies, which it will eventually, and whenever it dies, then we get our Jade Light back. So if they want to use, like, a Kai's Wrath to clean up the board, we get, we get a Jade Light. I wonder if I should have cut more fine finalities. I cut one. I kind of feel like I maybe should have cut another one. This card is... It's only good in the very, very late game. And only if they have an exiled stuff. Alright, so we have a whole lot of dresses, a whole lot of negates. We got some frilled mystics. Any of those kind of cards would be great. Vivian would be great. Krasis would be great. Basically, everything in our deck would be a good draw, except for lands like that we're drawing. So go ahead, cast your Kai's Wrath. Go ahead. See, now they're like, wait, am I supposed to cast my Kai's Wrath now? Basically, by Kai's Wrath thing, all they did was kill the Hostage Shaker. Ooh. And now we got the Double Explorer back. One mana short from just being able to cast this Thief of Sanity. One mana short, but we do have the negate to help protect it. This is what I mean about Esper just having creatures. After sideboard, they'll they'll have something for us to hostage take. <laughs> hey, what's up, King Till? Five life gain there. It's definitely possible I should have just waited. A turn to hostage take. Or at least attack with my Jade Light first last turn to see if they blocked. That was the the sequence that got them their Thief of Sanity back. I kept the Jade Light on top because I wanted to make this one a 4-3. But then I didn't really want them to get the, a Jade Light off of Thief of Sanity. And I don't really want to draw a Jade Light. I want to draw, try to draw something better. Hopefully. You know, ideally a, a Krasis or a Vivian or something like that. All 
All right, hit a bunch of lands. Three lands. Ooh, that was two lands. Two lands and something else. Could be a third land. Wow. Never mind. Guess I should have waited on my hostage shaker. Like after I grabbed it with fine finality. Bleh. Well, I'd like to continue to play that matchup, even though we lost it. You know, our game one was a mold of five, and game two, we did just draw a bunch of lands. You know, and we had nothing except for a Jade Light and a Hostage Taker to take our own Jade Light for the first, like, you know, seven turns of the game. But I think we'll win quite a high percentage of games in that matchup, just not that one. Matches, I mean. We've had a lot of hands that kind of look like this so far. I mean, if one of our top two cards is a green source for Jade Light Ranger, it would work out, but it's not. thing is after after playing that that one against uh, Esper there I think next time I play against Esper I'm gonna take out all the land where elves I think that's one sideboarding change I'm gonna make yeah doing some laddering today um, Instead of the leagues for the first three decks, then we'll have our we're gonna be going through a league with the donation deck as our fourth deck, the Teamer Monsters. Ah, there you go, Skyrims. You asked any Teamer Reclamation decks today? You played three against three of them this morning. Well, we got one right here. Fortunately, these these are not our good cards for this matchup, like Wild Growth Walker, Cast Down, Find Finality, these are all cards I'm going to sideboard out. So that's not ideal. <clears throat> We've had three lands, two land werewolves, and three cards that we're sideboarding out in this matchup. That's alright. I'm glad we got that first free win. Yeah, and they have turn three reclamation, so good. At least they have like their really good hand against our terrible hand. We match those up pretty well. I don't really need those cards. I don't want my opponent to draw a card with the blink of an eye. So yeah, pretty, pretty lucky on us to get that free win to start with so that we're at least in the Platinum 4. So if we, you know, like... We're at the very bottom level. We can't go down any from losses right now. So that's not so bad.
We did draw our fourth card that we were sideboarding out. So we've had we have four cards we're sideboarding out. We've drawn all four. Could be better. I am saving the hostage taker in case there's like a Niv Mizzet that we can maybe take. Looks like they probably just have a bunch of counter magic over there. bad for us because that's just free so just with reclamation it's just zero mana draw four discard one so somebody put this in my youtube comments and it makes sense it's just four mana omniscience basically that's all it is it's just your spells cost zero mana I consider getting the Llanowar Elf and playing a Llanowar Elf, but I think all we're doing is just turning on their Sinister Sabotages and just letting them surveil. That's all I'm doing by casting a Fine Finality is just saying go ahead and surveil one opponent. And we need to get really lucky to win this, and so letting them surveil is probably not how we're going to be winning this. They could have like, like, I, like they gotta just be sitting on center sabotages, right? And so like, all I'm doing is just like, playing cards just helps them out. Brick, brick. Because they could have just drawn those two lands, like the last two draw steps, and they would have been Surveilling the lands into the graveyard if I would have cast anything. Is my opponent going to die to one Wild Growth Walker? No, I haven't one speed. I, I haven't played that actually. The Merfolk deck. Uh, do they, did they just find... They just found explosion? No, just pass. Just say you were just doing that for fun. And now pass. Uh, 
Uh, why not just kill me? If you did have explosion, why don't just do 20 up here? What, what are you doing? Why don't you just have, just spend your mana? I guess they just wanted to have like all their counter spells available. All right, bringing in uh, basically our whole sideboard, cutting all those cards that we just drew. Yeah, and that works. Perfect sideboarding. Should I have a harpooner in instead of a contempt? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, this is a matchup I definitely want Land of War Elves. Unlike, unlike against Esper Control that's playing sweepers and, you know, trying to play, like, a long game like that, this deck that we're playing against is not trying to play a long game. They're not playing sweepers. We need the Land of War Elves for the speed. Yeah, they could certainly have Ooze, but we have Flyers that can fly over. We got these things that we actually drew this time. That's good. Thief, do your thing. Take this as Kanta. Thank you. <laughs> we call him Thief because he stole our hearts. One more chance. Ooh, that was a great card for the opponent to have there. Now they get to insight next turn, play Nexus. Lots and lots of cards. Reclamation could could help them win this for sure. Yeah, they have one Nexus there, one Nexus here. The thing about Thief is it does trim their library quite a bit to help them find more Nexuses. Hey, going good, Zerf. We are starting with Sultai Sanity, I know one of your favorite decks here in Ranked. We're not doing so good. It says one and one, but we haven't won a game yet. We lost game one of a match, and then the opponent conceded the match afterwards, so something probably came up where they had to go. And then um, we lost to Esper, and we're down a game here. But the opponent has Omniscience in play, and so that's really bad for us. Hey, what's up, Boot? 32-month streak. 
Dude, that seems like a lifetime. That is so many months. Thank you so much, Boop. For Arena, the release date is on the uh, is on April twenty fifth. Paper, the release date is after that. I don't know exactly when though. It's like one of the weekends after that. Ooh, that's a good one. Keep back the land off just in case I want to use it mana wise. That was not an ideal thief hit. Just you know, two lands and a and a search rose canta. That was not ideal. That was not a very good turn for us. About as bad as the turn could go. I don't know. I mean, we got to get rid of the Wilderness Reclamation, but still. RS Kanto over here has got to help us out a little more. Yeah, you were... You might have been, like, the first sub when I started streaming. I know my friend Ben was, like, my first sub. Um, but, you know, he subbed before... You know, like whenever I, whenever I qualified to be, to have subs, you know, when I got partnered, I told Ben and everything, and, and he subbed before I streamed, like my first partner stream, but I think you might have been the first person while streaming to sub. Jobin, getting aboard the hype boat as well, thank you so much Jobin. Um, this is kind of tough. I mean, I guess I'm, I guess I'm saying library. I mean, that's better than a random card. I don't really have anything for this crisis right now. Uh, I don't think Magic the Gathering Arena is ever going to go to console, to console. I don't believe, I don't, I don't believe it'll ever be a console game. What happens if you flicker a flipped card? Uh, it will go back to the original, um, like the the front side. So you're saying if you take a card that's transformed and you exile it and then return it to the battlefield. Can't really let my opponent have that, but it's probably getting countered here. So, all right, they get that. But good news is we will be able to flip our Escanta now if we brick. And Escanta has a lot of good hits for us between like Vivian, uh, Crushing Canopy. It's two in particular that'd be really good to hit. Oh, they have an into the royal. Or a bounce spell or whatever. Whatever the bounce spell is called. I should probably just be waiting on this duress until like next turn. I think we're going to be losing here, though. Yep, 
blink of an eye. I don't know. Why didn't they just reprint into the Royal? It's the exact same card. It's like literally the exact same. Like every single thing about the card is the exact same. Just change the name. Dominaria. Not with that attitude. <laughs> hey, take notes. Thank you so much for the subscription there. You are amazing. Already uh, six subs on the day. Wow. Y'all are awesome. No. Ugh, this is bad. Looks like we're going to be losing. This is why I get for saying at the beginning of the stream that we wanted to face Wilderness Reclamation and Esper X. And then we lose two back to back. to them. Uh, question is, do you think they'll eventually have more access to tournaments through Arena than just the Mythic Invitational series? Well, I don't think it would be... Well, saying no doesn't make... I don't think saying no from would... Basically, yeah, so do you think they will eventually? Most likely. Like, it'd be really surprising if no, you know, is the answer to when you're saying, do you think eventually? Because, you know, eventually, you know, includes all time. So my answer would be yes. Like, they will likely have tournaments through Arena that are not just Mythic Invitational Series. But with that being said, I don't think that's a, a priority to have right now, and I wouldn't expect that anytime soon. Like that could be years down the road kind of thing. Yeah, we we reached platinum with our first win, thankfully, because uh, then we lost two in a row and not moving down at all. So that's good. So basically, I wouldn't be expecting that anytime soon. Our deck hasn't performed too well today. Jealous. Wish I had a another green black land I can't really imagine we're going to win this with the opponent having the man advantage mid range mirror here is just determined by who spends more mana. And they're going to be spending a lot more mana with all these lands in hand. Thieves of Sandy should get cast down here. Them playing the forest, they're telling us they have cast down in hand.
At least no Vivian. So we, we're not dead right now. If a Vivian would have been, we were dead. Let's see if there's a finality. Finality could mean we're dead. Alright, good. We can beat that. That one's not so bad. We can grow up these wild growth walkers to be bigger than that. Give them some time. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try Mono Red Crisis later on also in our ranked queues. <laughs> yeah, our man has not not been kind to us this this stream here today. Let's see. Do I want to play the Land War Elf? Or do we think they're just going to... Yeah, because finality now, like, these wild growth walkers are pretty big. So, yeah, that... <clears throat> that I do think that with that attack, they were trying to get us to do some kind of blocking. Not exactly sure what kind of blocking, but definitely some kind of blocking. Come to me. So we want to steal their jade light. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Or can also just play a big crisis right now. Hmm. That's not bad. The problem with playing Jade Light to steal the or playing the hostage taker to steal the Jade Light is if they had an instant speed removal spell. I don't actually get to take their Jade Light kind of thing. So I kind of wanted to just play the Hydro Crisis, see what we draw and everything, and, and see if we can get it to a point, you know, to a better point of using the Hostage Taker. Such as them tapping out like this. No one knows the wilds like I do. All right, give me that. So make sure they don't have an attack on Vivian there. And then... Uh, I could steal Branch Walker and cast it. Or I could just play my own Branch Walker. Probably want to just cast my own Branch Walker.
<laughs> yeah, we could. So yes, so there was a line to hostage taker their hostage taker and then uh, recast their hostage, you know, take their hostage taker and cast it, and so on. I definitely wanted to play my explorer creature though. I wanted my wild growth walkers to be six eights against the carnage tyrant, which is a seven eight kind of thing. And then that's that's the thing. If if my opponent's finality, which is kind of likely. Okay, well. Most wounds can heal. It's a little annoying. You can't stop. So why not swing? Because we were about to win with Vivian Ultimate. So four, two, three. So I. So what do I think of the Elder Spell? Um, I think it's a really well-designed card, honestly. I don't think it's, I don't think it's like too powerful for standard or anything like that. But I think it's like really, really flavorful, and it's a lot of fun, and and it really brings home the uh, story um, of War of the Spark and and brings it to the gameplay and everything. And I think that it's it's a home run of a of a design. No, Cinder, Cinder. No, it's lagging there, I can tell. I'll be back, just like before. I just already have too many cards in hand. Like, I want to play Krasis. Like, Krasis is, like, my best card to, like, finish the game. Like, playing, like, a 7-7 Krasis or whatever. But I already have too many cards in hand. So I'm, t I'm getting Thieva Sandy in play. Get more cards. Start milling my opponent out. And keeping the the cast down available to kill a Wild Growth Walker if they were planning on just going Wild Growth Jade Light.
Ow. Attack. All right, so I'm going to hostage take this hostage taker. Come on, computer, you can do it. Yeah, so you can tell which hostage takers are mine. Theirs are like the regular border. Mine are the full art ones. So this full, so this one over here is mine. So even if even if they kill my hostage taker that's in play there, this hostage taker will come into play on my side. Wild animals, I like. No one said restoration was painless. What do you got for the other five cards in hand? Other four cards in hand. That's pretty good. Playing 5-5 five, five Krasis that doesn't die to finality. Uh, we have our Wild Growth Walkers don't die to finality either. It's been a long game one here. These things are usually pretty long games. We are both at 24 cards. They've only seen one Krasis so far. So they certainly could just have more Krasises over there. That's our second crisis they know about. Friend. This one's our third, and we have one more in there. Are you looking for... Yeah. There you go. That's that's where you can find it. Just Yeah, that's where you can find it, Phil. <clears throat> no problem. Alright, so yep, they're playing Krasis right now. They're doing the same thing they did previously when playing Krasis. So they're leaving four mana available. What do we have over here? I got two finds are gone. No contempt from them yet. And only one hostage taker but two cast down all right so they probably have contempt likely contempt Come on, deck. Stop. Stop. Or come on, arena. Stop lagging. You can do it.
Oh, yeah, maybe I should just attack with the hostage takers. I wanted to get multiple thieves in play. Yeah, maybe I should just hit with hostage taker and then find those back. Definitely reasonable. Because I think what, we're, what this game is probably going to end up with is us decking our opponent. I think that's what we're probably ending up with here. At least that's my plan. survive you'll see all right Vivian out here oh my gosh my arena is like just frozen right now So, I need five mana, so I can Krasis for four, and draw Vivian. I can... The wild wasn't meant to be con- This is nothing. No, I'm not doing any YouTube updates right now. It's, yeah, I don't, it's just like this game is making the stream like this. Or something, or, I don't know, this time of day, like, maybe there's, maybe my internet is not working too well with Cox Cable right now. I don't know. We've Yeah, I'm not really sure what is up with that. So they probably want to make a large crisis, but I don't mind them making a large crisis cuz it'll mill them out. They're at 15 cards in library. Now they're at 10 cards in library. You can't stop nature. Let's put those all at the bottom. They're at 10, I'm at 18. I can graveyard this. Ugh. One card away from that crisis. That would have been a good card to have here. It's like more defense. Attack. Computer. Work. So they've used all their cast downs. They've had one contempt. 
Only one Vivian, though. So they likely found another Vivian now. Hmm. Another hostage taker. That's a big problem. Let's do this again. Yeah, not not looking good for us right now. Because they have our Thieva Sanity. Looks like we may get milled out first. Down to seven cards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I do six, six, crisis, we'll have six mana left. Oh, I would add seven mana left. I thought I'd only have six mana left. So I should I should have done a seven seven crisis. Just one more, because six mana meant like that I could cast. You know, if I would have drawn find finality, I could cast find, get back my hostage taker, and cast hostage taker for the thief. That's what I wanted. I wanted I wanted to leave six mana to be able to cast my last find and grab my grab the hostage taker that's dead, and hostage take the thief. It's bad. I still kind of feel like maybe I should have just contempted the thief, honestly. They've only seen one Vivian so far. They have six cards left, so like, like it's a really good chance that they just play a Vivian and kill my Krasis, and then this thief kills me. So I'm still pretty nervous about that. We have... Two Vivians of our own still, right? We've only drawn one Vivian? No, we've drawn two. So there's one Vivian left, which we know the Vivian is one of the bottom four cards, so we're not drawing that. But there's still another Find Finality. deck. Can't really afford any more bricks. So 
So that's 20. We know one land is at the bottom, so that's 21. There are no lands in here. So yeah, we have three more lands in the next seven cards. That's bad. So basically, as soon as they draw Vivian, I'm dead. And they only have four cards left. So surprised they haven't drawn it yet. Alright, that'll work. That's a good one. That's a good one. That checks their Thieva Sanity now. Alright, I like our chances now. So now if they just hit... They hit a Vivian, we don't just, like, lose. So that's good. We can take seven a turn. They're going to mill out first. Oh wait, I forgot I just completely forgot about having the hostage taker over here. Right? Don't I have a Oh no, it got exiled. Okay, yeah, it got exiled. All right. I don't think my opponent has anything good to folly. Like there's there's nothing for them to folly. Like there's like a crisis. Yeah, like none of those cards are worth falling. Can't draw more cards like they can get a 1 3 Wild Growth Walker or a Lanowar Elf. But yeah, Thief definitely definitely helped us win this mirror. Uh, just, you know, decking the opponent. It's not the first time this, this has come down to, like, this mirror has come to this, like, with. Uh, especially with having Thief, is just milling the opponent out. So they have three turns like to kill no us? Knows the wilds they like can't kill I us in do. three turns, right? Yeah, now they get to folly back host Hostage Taker and take a Wild Growth Walker. So can they do 48 to us in two combat steps? I don't think they're doing 48 to us in two combat steps, right? What? They just didn't even attack with Krasis? What are they... Why would they not attack with Krasis here? Hey, Destin Sword. Yeah, so that should help with the frames. If you, if you refresh... Should be better. Why would they not attack with the Hydroid Crisis? And just deal three damage to me last turn. So they got two turns to do 54 damage. It's going to be tough. They got one card in library left now. Really, we should be at 51. They should have at least stacked for three last turn. Oh, 
All right, got game one. So Frilled Mystic is kind of odd. Like Frilled Mystic is really good, but it's it's a really bad card for them to hostage taker. Um. So there is certainly a bad part about Frilled Mystic. That was probably like a. 25, 30 minute game. I don't know, I'm just kind of estimating. <laughs> I don't think I really want to sideboard anything. Well, what is this person? Is that... Is that Diamond? No, as we saw with that game, the life the life that you gain from Wild Growth Walker is pretty important. And with them having Carnage Tyrant, if I don't have Wild Growth Walker, Carnage Tyrant will kill me. But Wild Growth Walker can like, you know, prevent me from dying to Carnage Tyrant by growing just as big, gaining me enough life to stay alive even if it hits me once or twice. Did I say I don't think we win this game after three turns? Feels like so long ago. How do I remember? Oh, right. Cause, oh, right. Because we were stuck on like two lands for a while or something like that, weren't we? They had all that mana. Well, I was certainly hoping that they did not just cast a hostage taker right there, but, they'd, but they did. Do you think they have Disdainful Stroke? Did we just hit the goal? Can I can I just not see these notifications? Hey, Elanot. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub there, Elanot. You are amazing. Of course, getting those hype boats in the chat. I didn't see the, the endorse, the Harry's Razor notification. Was there one there?
Uh, we, we milled our opponent out last game. You know, it must be like popping up over here on the OBS and I'm not seeing it, but it, it, I'm not hearing like, did it make sound for y'all? Because I didn't hear the sound at all. Again. But yeah, looking at my, my page, it doesn't show that anybody new signed up for Harry's, so uh, it must have been... Just the same notification, because yeah, I was the same person as last time. Y'all got the sound also? House Taker is a good card. I kind of hate just using a find finality already. Or like my, basically my last find. Hey, a Dota player. Just hit Mythic using Mono. I don't know, MR. Mono Red. I don't know, M MRW. So, MRW is an Esper. I want to try to hit top 500, but I don't know best of three too well. Which deck would y'all recommend me to learn with? Esper is just a good one. Yeah, Esper is a, a good choice for sure. That's, a, that's just a good deck, and if you've been playing that quite a bit, um, yeah, just keep on, keep on keeping on with Esper. I mean, if they have instant speed removal, playing Hostage Shaker is bad if they have instant speed removal. I've already used a couple instant speed removal spells. So this the safest play is just to 
play the Krasis for seven, but then they're just gonna Vivian kill the Krasis for seven. Um, and then we'd be in like the same spot, basically. So I'm just playing, yeah, I could take, I could hostage take their taker and then take Krasis, but I'm just playing the Krasis so that I have something to attack Vivian with whenever they play Vivian next turn. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Win this game so we don't have to go to game three. Sorry. Looks like we're going to game three. This looks like a game three. Especially with, with me mulliganing last game. Also. Or with me mulliganing this game, I, I put a find finality at the bottom. We already used the other two. That's a really important card. They're not casting my crisis. Come to me. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Basically, I'm gonna have to be attacking in with these wild breath walkers, and so, because I just have to clear out. You know, even though I clear out crises, which is not good for us, but I just have to have to start clearing out the ground because like my my chance right now is attacking with hostage taker or sorry my <laughs> attacking with wild growth walker sorry Come on, computer. It's not usually this bad. It's like extra bad today. Balance comes. Yeah, we have a cast down for the first hostage taker. If they want to folly back a hostage taker here and take something, we could cast down it. Ugh. That's annoying, them having the third one already. So this is about to be their fifth hostage taker to actually cast this game. We have cast one. That's a big difference in the game. How this thing go? The wilds are my shield. All right, let's go to game three. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, being on the play, I'm going to cut one Wild Growth Walker and one Hydroid Crasis for two negates. Negates for Find Finality and for Vivian. The problem with Frilled Mystic is, Frilled Mystic is a really good card to hostage take, so I don't really want them hostage taking my Frilled Mystic. That's a pretty big problem. Alright, draw Watery Grave, or Overgrown Tomb. I'll take Overgrown Tomb, please. Overgrown Tomb. Yes, that card. I want that card. Overgrown Tomb. Ugh. Take the watery grave. And this time I actually have removal for their hostage taker. You know, like last time they had they just hostage take my Thieva Sandy right away. Alright, well this time they have cast down. I want to kill this Llanowar all so they cannot play Vivian first. I usually wouldn't do that, but, but because we have Vivian for next turn, and we want to make it so they can't play Vivian, and so that we can... I guess it looks like they may have contempt. Oh. That card's really good in this matchup. Ugh. No one knows the I've lost so much already. I won't lose more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. to do better than that. I don't really want to use fine you for just one thief. Nature. I was kind of hoping that we would hit a creature on top here with Branch Walker, like a good creature, and we would put it in our graveyard and then cast fine and get both of those back. So it's going to be like that, huh? Painful stroke really got us. That was the perfect two cards. Disdainful stroke to counter my Vivian and then play their own Vivian. That's the difference here.
Vivian, too strong. Balance comes. Meet my newest friend. Wow. They really like the Carnage Siren plan. We only saw one Carnage Siren the other times. I didn't know they had three. Huh. Well, I regret, regret taking out a Wild Growth Walker. Hey, Born Stray. Or, and, uh, Fonu. Saying hi. Hello, y'all. Alright, so we ended up 1-3 with Soul Tie Sanity, and uh, really, really we didn't even win our first match. Um, our first match. It was, came out of good timing, put us into Platinum, but it was really our opponent won the game one and then left immediately afterwards. So uh, they were, uh, so, you know, who knows what happened with, with them. But real disappointing showing for the deck. I mean, the deck is, I still think the deck is good. And how I talked about how we have it kind of tuned toward Esper and Reclamation with like our sideboard choices and having Thieves in the main. And then we lost to Esper and Reclamation. But that's just how magic goes sometimes. You know, like we just had uh, some mana troubles. We had uh, definitely the wrong part of our decks, all the, those game ones. And then game, basically both both of those two matchups were the exact same where we just had the wrong part of our deck with like cast downs and stuff like that. Uh, cast downs, find, walker, hostage taker, that kind of stuff, game one. And then game two, we drew tons of lands in both of them and just didn't didn't draw very many of our sideboard cards we drew like one negate um in each of the games and like that was it out of like the direct or no one of them we had a couple duresses in one game and the other game we had one negate kind of thing so you know like we're still going to lose matches to those mat to esper and reclamation but overall i would like to play against esper reclamation all day long with this deck but we just happened to lose those two matches so it was uh not ideal there. That's the way it goes sometimes. Uh, and then Soul Time Mirror um, opponent had had just really nice hands games two and three. Um, yeah, game game two they just had all the hostage takers possible. You know they cast five of them there uh, to our one after mulliganing, and then the game three it was it was that sequence of counter my Vivian play play their own Vivian. That sequence got me. So, yeah, that's game. Yeah, game three. I I was on the play. I had turn five Vivian, but they countered it with a disdainful stroke, and then they untapped and played a Vivian. And like neither of us had a battlefield. Basically, I had a two one, and so it was all about that. And then the Vivian just wins the game. <clears throat> um. But. Oh well. Um. Yeah. So even though this wasn't a great showing for the deck. I do think that it's a good deck if you want to fate like if you want to beat the control decks, <laughs> even though I lost both of those. <laughs> but that happens. Um, yeah, that's Soul Tie Sanity. So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that.